Hey everybody, got a video here for you today. Pretty hard to decide what I'm going to do next because I got a lot of things on the to-do list, but we're going to go back to Ancient America, and this is a video I started looking into quite a while ago during my Ancient America series. But I had a real good message quite a while ago from a guy in this part of the country. This is called Crowley's Ridge, and this is north of Jonesboro, Arkansas. And the universities here kind of got involved in this study, but this ancient site is really ancient as far as ancient North American sites. But I think it's right down in this general area. And there is nothing on YouTube about this, so I thought I'd talk about this today. There were a few sites discovered down here, archaeological dig sites that were discovered almost 50 years ago now. But very important finds, including one of the oldest cemeteries in North America. And I'm going to read about that and just tell you a little bit about what was found here. The Sloan site was first discovered in 1968 by Mary Ann Sloan when she was working as a student at Arkansas State University at Jonesboro. And the findings here were pretty remarkable. In 1974, Frank Sloan noticed that artifacts were being dug up and sold. And Frank Sloan relayed the information about this archaeological site to a Dr. Dan Morse. And he worked for the Arkansas Archaeological Survey, and he did work here for quite a number of years. But the findings here were pretty remarkable. And here's a look at some of the many artifacts that were taken from the site. And there was a pretty good archaeological dig here, and a lot of findings were made. There was a cemetery found. Up to, I think it was 30 people were found here buried in ritualistic fashion. And the dating window includes 11,500 years ago. And we all know, listening to Graham Hancock and Randall Carlson, something really bad happened at that exact time window. So when you have a cemetery with all different age groups, did something bad happen all at once and these people were buried all at once? Well, that's something I wonder about. It says here, the variation of the thickness of human cranial fragments indicates that both juveniles and adults were buried at the Sloan Cemetery. And it says... Uh, 28 to 30 people were buried all together. It says here, as Dalton points were found in different regions of the mid-continent, they were given different names such as Holland, Meserve, Greenbrier, Colbert, Hardaway, and Breckenridge. Excavations at Brand and the Sloan sites and surface collections at many other sites in northeast Arkansas provide a wealth of information about the Dalton culture in northeast Arkansas. The internationally famous Sloan site in Greene County and how internationally famous is it, if there's not one video on YouTube really going over this, is a Dalton period cemetery and the oldest documented cemetery in the Western Hemisphere. What exactly is the Dalton period? It seems to be a transition period from the Ice Age period to the early points in North America, like Poverty Point and Watson Break that go back. Watson Break goes back 5,500 years in Louisiana. But this seems to be like a transition culture, and there is a lot of names pinned on cultures these days. We thought the early people were called Clovis, but there is a bunch of different periods and different names. And Graham Hancock said in one of his lectures recently that the early period of America is so much more complex than we even realize. And here's one of the more recent articles I found, and here are some artifacts found in the area. And these could be left by more recent cultures, the way it looks to me. And it says here, Dan Morris, an archaeologist with the Arkansas Archaeological Survey, organized a team, and the site was excavated in March of 1974. Little did anyone know at the time, it's the oldest Native American cemetery found in the New World, and it is estimated to be up to 12,500 years old. So there is a window of about 2,000 years, between 12,500 years and 10,500 years old. So the people in this area certainly were a witness to some serious doings going on on the North American continent at that time period. And here is a book written by Dan Morse about the artifacts found. This is called Sloan, a Paleo-Indian Dalton Cemetery in Arkansas. And this looks like an interesting book, and I just might get it. I haven't read a book for about three days. But where were the artifacts quarried from? Were they locally made, or did they come from areas around this area? Well, let's just read just a little bit here. Some of these chert source areas are located from 60 to 100 kilometers from the site, and they can be found in colors 
and pea sizes that may have been preferred over Crowley's Ridge Church because of its remarkable spatial integrity and artifact assemblage, the Sloan site is one of the most significant Dalton sites ever investigated. Due to the efforts of John Sloan and E. Sloan Farms, the site is now owned by the Archaeological Conservancy. And here is one of the excavation picks from the Sloan site. There were a few other sites right nearby. And I will leave some links below so you can look at some of the artifacts from the Dan Morris collection. Although much of their time was spent in their daily tasks of procuring materials for their needs, they clearly devoted time for matters other than food, clothing, and shelter. The planned interment of bodies and grave goods at the Sloan site suggests that the Dalton people believed in an afterlife and or possibly a higher power. If such a belief system was in place by 8500 BC, then it is likely that it dates to an even earlier age. So 10,500 years ago, people were established in a community but how sophisticated was this culture well there are so many questions and we are just starting to open those possibilities with some good questions but there is no video on youtube about this site so i thought this was well worth it a date a time we have all wondered about but the window here some of the websites say 12,500 years ago, some say 10,500 years ago, and there seemed to be a belief system in place by 10,500 years ago. So how far back to Zacco? People were burying their dead in ritualistic fashion. The ancient United States is very ancient, and we're just starting to get a grasp on that. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very nice day.